Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use the Revlon Spiral Wands. I did this side of my hair already. There's some really nice curls. It's pretty easy to use this wand. You're just touching out your hair and a finger comb it. And I want my curls to be away from my face, so I'm going to hold the wand in this hand in my right hand and use my left hand to wrap it around I leave it for about 10 seconds because it gets really hot it goes up to 400 degrees and I would advise you to be very very cautious when using this tool because it gets really really hot and it burns your hands <laughs> trust me I know it does come with a um, glove but the glove is a little bit too much for me because when you use the glove then you have to switch which hands the gloves are on. So what I do is when I finish curling the section, throw it back behind there. And I have my fan on because I hate to be dealing with heat. And and you start to sweat and your curls flop before you get to the other side. I did put a heat protecting spray on here already. If you don't constantly use heat on your hair, you don't need to use a heat protecting spray every time you, you do it. I'm going to do this one again because... I think it was a little bit too fat. So I'm going to take out some of the hair. And go back in. And I'm going to run you through a little bit of maintenance tips for colored hair. And some people have this idea that when they purchase virgin hair, it's all over. Like, you don't have to do anything anymore because it's virgin hair and it's self-maintaining. It isn't. It's not hard to maintain. It's very easy to maintain, but you have to follow the correct procedures especially on colored hair, hair that's been bleached and even colored because people think that the only problem you have is when you color it, sorry, when you bleach it, but when you put color in it, it also gives problems. You need to make sure that you treat your hair regularly. I don't want to tell you how regularly, as regularly as you can. Try to treat your hair as much as you can once it's colored or bleached because it strips your hair of the natural oils that's in it. Then you have a problem with the ends looking dry. And once you, once you color hair and you deep condition that hair, you have no problem. You literally have no problem. I've had color here, which has been bleached out to the max. I mean, to the max. And I didn't have like a huge problem with dryness or it being overly dry. Yes, you would get dryness because with any type of hair that you buy, 
even colored here that you buy colored already like the package here like premium no and milky way or whatever if you buy a number two or a number four anything that goes beyond a regular color like jet black or wambi it's been processed to get that color so you have to put a little bit more stuff in it a lot of oils and stuff like that to keep it moist so please follow those few little steps just make sure you put your oils in it make sure that you braid it up at night you go to sleep with it in and not out decondition it make sure that it's moisturized you don't have to go overboard with the products because this here calls for little little bit of products in it you don't need oil moisturizers and foaming wraps and the whole shebang you just need some good oil and not every argan oil is good oil you need to do your research see what people are using get on YouTube find the good products weigh them and use them um, the curling wand is pretty easy to use it's a little bit faster than the regular curling iron but so this is how it came out in the end I just ran my fingers through it to loosen up the curl because I really do not like stiff tight curls so I ran my hands through it and it came out into this really nice wave and Revlon spiral wand may just be my new favorite tool so If you're liking these curls, please like, please rate, please subscribe, and comment. Please do. So, see you guys in another video. Bye.